I have a photo here in colour, and we know how to turn it into a black and white photo. Now I'm just going to crop a bit of this. so that I've got two different photos of two different sizes. All right. You know those photos where you have a black and white photo with just a little bit of color bleeding through? We're going to make one of those. The way we're going to do it is to use a mask. So I'm going to put both of these photos on exactly the same background. And you can see there I've got the black and white photo and the colour photo and they're both in the same image so I've got two layers. So I've got my colour on top of the black and white I want to put the black and white on top of the colour. Now because this background layer is locked, I can't. If I right click on that background layer and create a layer from that background, you'll see that it's now layer zero, not background anymore. And now I can drag that up and put it on top. Or I could have dragged this layer down and put it underneath. Either way, I've got my black and white photo over the top of my colour photo. Now I want these two to be exactly lined up. But I have a problem in that I can't see where this photo is exactly. I don't know how to put it in the right place. That's easily solved. All I need to do is show both layers, but with this layer selected, I'm going to adjust the opacity. In other words, I'm going to bring back the see-throughness, if you like, of that top layer so that I can overlap each layer and put it in the right place. So if I click it, and I'm just nudging it with the keyboard until they are overlapped. So I'm just looking for instance, I'll just bring that opacity back a little bit. I'm just looking at down here where that ear is for instance. You can see there. And that's overlapping pretty nicely. So now, how do I make the mask layer? Well, with this layer selected, I'll bring the opacity all the way back up. So now I can no longer see that colour background. That's okay. Now, the bit of the photo I want to bleed the colour through is here where the sunset was showing through my hand. So I'm going to create what's called a mask. A tool to make a mask is this one here. Now you can see there it's added this white area here. So the way the mask tool works is that if I have white selected here when I use my eraser, and I'll choose a brush size that is a little bit bigger, and I might choose a soft brush. So when I use the mask, what I'm doing now, imagine there's that this white here, imagine, is a white 
masking tape over the top of that entire image. So if I remove some of that masking tape there, the colour will bleed through. And you can see there, because I chose a soft brush, it's bleeding like that. I'll undo that and I'll use a hard brush. And if you look at the difference a hard brush makes, the edge is very hard, you can see there. So I'll go back to my soft brush. And I'll just bleed out a bit of colour here. Maybe up through there. And you can see where the edge of that photo is. So I'll just undo that last step. And I'll bleed a bit of colour out of here. And if I reverse it so that it's black, you can see the effect that black has. Black unerases, black puts the mask back on. Notice down here in my layer mask that I can see that little bit of black there that's indicating that this has been masked or unmasked. So I'll just turn this to white again and add a bit more colour. And that's reflected down here. Now when I come to save it, I've got both these showing. There's that area that I've masked. So when I save it, if I save it like this, it's going to be a Photoshop document. If I save it as a JPEG, Photoshop will know that I'm masking those two layers. It'll flatten those layers and combine them. And now when I open Photoshop masked file, there it is there as a flat file.